just got an open costume it's kind of dark and the curtains are the bottom so yeah i don't leave really anytime soon but i've just been watching flight takes off by 11 but I need to be there by 8, 9 for you know to check in my baggage my luggage so yeah that's what's happening I'll update you guys in the when all the real action starts right now everything's just calm so. what this is a new vlog right uh, hey guys welcome back to my channel if you don't know me hi and subscribe to join the family because and comment something down below because I read all of my comments. Hello back up, click click clack up, hella bands, pull up stashed up, shoot the facts up, or you bitches rose a park, uh oh, get your ass up. Yikes, I play tag and you it for life. Yikes, you a clown, you do it for likes. Yikes, yes, it's tight, but it doesn't bite. Rip it right. to leave i just put on my outfit and it's actually it's not it's not that it's not like fashionable or cute because i was going for comfortable something i can sit in a plane for six hours Okay guys, so I'm done boarding. Boarding, checking my checking my my baggage is so now I'm about to board. I need to wait till 8 o'clock and it's just nice. Uh, still nice, sorry, and it's 828. So yeah. I was about to do now. It was really stressful. My waist is pain me, I'm so tired. But was oh what is because we're done now. Okay, so my mom and I decided to get something to eat because yeah we're hungry she looks so cute but after that it was time to board but i had to make a quick stop at the brush bowl for some mirror pics but i also peed so it wasn't like just for mirror pics but yeah i took some pictures with my family and they are my parents and it was time to board i had to go through security we had to like take off our shoes and everything like that it was so stressful and annoying but it was necessary and we got it done and it was time to board but I gave them my stuff and got my boarding pass and we had to wait a few minutes before like the actual boarding and getting on the plane started but yeah I want to show you my shoes they look really cute I don't know what that whole movement is but yeah it was finally time to board getting on the plane and 
was nervous because I I don't know I just was kind of not really I don't know why I said that okay whatever so I finally got on the plane I actually didn't have a window seat the seat my seat was next to the window but I stole someone else's seat but the view from up was so cute like this the camera doesn't even do it justice it was so beautiful like the lights were like stars like they're getting that stars from above that's how it was it was so pretty it was everything anyways after a few minutes they served us food Ugh, i didn't eat anything here apart from bread the oh my god i just could not handle it i'm still suffering from the ptsd so now but I was also watching It's So Romantic. Yeah, it was good. Recommend. But then it started the snacks after a while. And I guess it was okay. We ate the pineapples. But once again, the view. But after that, I took a nap and I woke up and decided to watch Coco again. The view. Um this like especially this view the camera doesn't do any kind of justice whatsoever because it was such a good view like it was like a whole ass oh, i don't know how to explain but it was really good um then it was finally time to get out of the plane it was actually shorter than i expected but the air the airport was so big that we had to wait for a train to take us from where we got out of the plane to like the main airport like that was even the main airport like the main airport yeah this is just me in the um no. and this is us going to the airport having a view of all the planes and everything cute and after that i finally got to like where i was supposed to board my next plane So I don't know if you guys can hear me, but they changed our gates, so I'm in a different place than I was before. Um, I don't know, it was so last minute that they didn't even announce it. It was literally just some random guy that just came up to me and asked me if I was going to Canada. I was like, yeah. They said that they changed the gates, and then I went to ask, and they did change the gates. So now I'm at B20, so I'll be 28. I'm like, why didn't they just announce it? Because what if that person didn't walk up to me? I probably would have missed my flight waiting at B28. Yeah, do better. Okay, it was finally time to board, so I got my ass up and got on the plane. And I was in the middle aisle, but the plane was almost empty. There were like three extra rooms, so I got to go back and stay in the window seat. Which is pretty. Um, but then they served us food, and it was okay. I actually was watching Nemo, finding Nemo, which I had never watched before. Again, the view. The food wasn't bad, I'm not gonna lie. I actually got to eat the pasta, which was great because I was kind of hungry. The pasta was not as bad as the last one. 
this chocolate I tasted was really good, was really good. But I didn't like the dressing for the salad because the salad wouldn't have been that bad, but the dressing just mm -mm, wasn't it. So I couldn't eat that. But besides the dressing, I also ate at the bread and yeah that was all I ate the pasta and the bread and the chocolates and that was it green for some reason but I only just like had a little taste of the green dough whatever it is called and I didn't like it so I didn't eat it because I'm a very picky eater and I just can't eat anything that I don't like because I just can't
okay so we finally got off the plane and after this i went through immigration security um baggage claim and bag baggage check and then more security and then after that i was just playing the waiting game um i had to sit here with myself and wait for my brother but while I was waiting, there was all these people waiting in line to get their COVID test done. But because I was 17, I, like, I didn't I have to do it as an accompanied So that was such a sweat because I would have been so annoying. But yeah, he came, finally came to pick me up and we went home.